Hello, I wanted to create a very quick uh, demo of our um, snowplow tracking application. Before I do that, just to give some context to who we are and what we've built here. So we're WebMap Solutions. <clears throat> Again, I'm going to just focus on real-time vehicle tracking and that solution. Just a quick summary of who we are. We're based in Cottonwood Heights, founded in 2007. Our focus is really on, on real-time data mapping analysis. That's both um, stationary and uh, moving um, tracking of, of assets. So we're a, a small team of uh, data and development experts, uh, all focused on geospatial. And our end goal for this application and for all that we build is, to, is simple, intuitive and flexible. So that's, uh, that's what we uh, try and uh, adv adhere to. This is the architecture of really our real-time solution. So again, I, even though I'm gonna be showing a tracking solution, this would apply for monitoring as well as stationary assets. So in this particular case, we're talking about snow plows moving from the top to the bottom. So we've got a vehicle. We, in this case, we've got three vehicles in the demo. Now inside of those vehicles, we're relying on sensors. So we could have any number of different sensors in that vehicle. So we could be measuring speed. We can be measuring the GPS location of the truck. We could be measuring the salt uh, levels in the in the rear of the truck, um, blade position, on and on. So whatever sensors that are actually in that uh, truck, um, we can pick up. Um, where we, what we're doing with that sensor data is pushing it to a data integrator. So that's kind of where the magic happens. That's kind of behind the curtain. So we do some cleaning of the data. We apply some logic to the data. And from there, we actually push it into an interface. And in this case, we're actually pushing it into an ArcGIS interface, which I know a lot of um, organizations have. So it's being pushed into a GIS ultimately. Um, this is what an interface looks like. Now in, in the demo I'm gonna show you, we're actually just simply using um, a mobile phone. So that's we're using the sensors on a mobile phone to uh, put data into this interface. But this is the interface. The information that we're displaying here, and we're gathering a lot more information that we're actually showing in this, but the, the stuff that we're showing for the demo is obviously the map. Um, and we're showing three vehicles moving, color coded, and we're showing their tr the track that they followed with arrows. Uh, and we'll show that in real time in a second. Top left hand corner is the average speed. So we're averaging the speed of all of the trucks that we're showing. Act active trucks is what we're monitoring as well. We're not monitoring any trucks that have been stationary for an extended period or trucks that have finished their routing, or they're clearing on the route they've been designated. The right hand side is a percent complete. So what we're doing there is actually measuring um, in real time how far, how complete the driver is in, complete, in, in clearing the route that he's been designated. And in the top right hand corner, you can actually filter by truck, again, which I'll show you. So the default is all trucks, but you can actually narrow it down to an individual truck. Now this interface again can be modified it's a configurable interface. It's actually called the operations dashboard within, within uh, ArcGIS. So we can add different data sets in depending on need. So extremely flexible. The last slide before I uh, actually show the application is really questions and answers. Well, th there's really no limit to the answers and the, the questions that could be asked and the answers that could be provided. I've just provided a few here. So in real time, we can actually track when and how long trucks have been stationary for. So if it's over 90 seconds, it's longer than the traffic light, where and, and, and for how long has that truck been stationary? Um, if we've got a sensor in the back of the truck, then we can pick up the salt level. So we can, get, we can give an indicator to drivers about how much salt's left. Um, we can color code the roads to show which roads are cleared and uncleared. That's not in the demo, but we can show by color, maybe green would be cleared and red would be uncleared. So we, we can show for people that are looking at uh, what has been cleared to date, maybe for the best route to work, What's, uh, what's available for them to drive down. And we can do offline data collection as well. That's quite an important one for people that are clearing roads in out of urban areas or even in urban areas where there's a poor connection. So we're actually able to, again, this still depends on the sensor, but uh, with the sensors that we've got, we can actually do offline data collection. So as soon as we, we can collect that data and as soon as they get a, an internet connection, we can push that data back um, into the cloud, which is where the data is stored. From an analysis perspective, well, really these are GIS, GIS analyses and, and, and they're endless. So, I mean, I, there's three there. Um, where was truck A last Tuesday at 10 a.m.? That's quite a concern if, if a citizen has complained about uh, their mailbox being knocked over by a, a, by a truck. 
or you can actually trace it back and see exactly where that truck was at that particular time to verify um, if that's actually the case. This is obviously can be used for better route planning and, and historic data. It's just being pushed into, uh, into the cloud. So it's in your GIS system. So your GIS analyst or, or we can help there is able to actually look at that data. Again, there are, there are endless numbers of questions and answers that can be part of this. It isn't just a narrow focused application that only answers specific questions. It, the, the, the questions are endless because really what we're doing is bring a data supply in for future analysis, for real time and future analysis. Okay, so here's the application. Simple interfaces I've mentioned, I've, I've pointed out to you before. If you look at the map, you'll actually see that the trucks are moving um, in real time. So we've got a delay there that uh, of about 10, 15 seconds, which shows where the trucks are at a particular time and then they'll, they'll move forward. If you look at the right hand side, when, that, uh, when those trucks move, you'll notice that the bar chart changes. So for example, the green truck is about 75% complete, complete with its route. Also notice that the track, the, the path that it's followed, we have arrows there marking the direction of the truck. Top left hand corner again is at speed and we have three active trucks at the minute. I'm just gonna isolate it to one. So let's just look at truck one. And as you'll see, we've, uh, we've got truck one and we've got its, uh, its path um, shown here, which let me just zoom out. So there's truck one, it's just, it was just off the screen there. It's actually coming back down. The speed in the top left hand corner, 32 miles an hour is for that particular truck. And it's about 65% complete in terms of what it's doing. Again, we can change this, this, we're collecting a lot of data here and potentially could have collected a lot more. So what's been shown in this interface could be quite different. It can be customized for exactly what you want. So that's the application. I'm happy to share it to you. Feel free to contact me. Um, thanks for watching.